Hi everyone, Henry from Maniac Length Reply. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a functioning heart pump. Um, it will have a non-return valve. We will look at the atrium, the ventricle, and how oxygenated blood flows from the lungs into the body. So keep watching if you want to see how this is made. So first thing I'm going to show you is the non-return valve. Now, like all the Maniacs workshops, we try and do our our engineering side of the steam project with everyday household items things we can recycle so it's cheap easy to recreate kids can go home they can share they can tell about it and we can inspire the next generation of steamers out there so what i've used is a straw and some plastic now you can use a plastic bag um, with a little bit of effort, you can stretch the corner of the plastic bag and then cut it. But what I had was some packing material. These nice big bubble packing material that I get monthly. So I've got heaps of these saved up. And I thought this is a good time to use them to make a non-return valve. So I've cut them. So it's a little bag that's open on both sides. It's a nice thin plastic. I've tried making these from the cut off parts of the balloons. Nightmare, don't do it. Thin plastic's the way to go. So you attach that to your straw by putting it through the hole. There we go. Closing it off. Taping it. Best to use isolation tape. Um, normal salad tape and packing tape lose its stickiness in the water. So I found that isolation tape works the best. So non-return valve. We want the blood or water to flow in one direction. So we want it to be able to receive but not to deliver. So we want to be able to blow through the straw but not suck. So let's test this. As you can see, the moment I suck, my valve closes and there will, is no flow in the opposite direction. So, working fine when I blow. Very little coming through when I suck. So, now I've cut balloons. And I've made this before. I'm just quickly going to show you how it's done. So, you cut the balloons like that chuck that bit away we'll find a use for that somewhere i'm sure and stretch that over a cup now i found these plastic cups with the rim works the best because the balloon actually stuck nicely to them so there you go a nice seal to work with to make our pump we then stick little holes in it and we can put our straws with our valves in it now remember which direction your blood flows and figuring out which end of the straw goes in is the tricky part. So I've already done this here to save a bit of time to show you the completed right left side, sorry, left side of my heart. So over here we have the lungs. I'll push that forward so you can actually see. Lungs, atrium ventricle and body so we want oxygen rich blood to throw through the through the straw into the atrium fill it up but not return towards the lungs so we've got our non-return valve on the green straw so it delivers but doesn't um, flow back and then we have a straw flowing from the atrium into the ventricle with a non-return valve. So it again delivers but doesn't move backwards. And then from there into the body with a non-return valve in the body. So this is only one half of your heart. 
if we have a friend working with us, we'll have them doing the blue side, which is the oxygen poor side, will move from the body through the atrium, through the ventricle, into the lungs. So two people together will have a functioning heart with all four chambers. So let's see how this goes. So if we, like any pump, if we decrease the volume, we increase the pressure, which should result in flow. So let's see if this works. So there we go. We increase our pressure. And here comes our blood being delivered through the lungs. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do another one on this side. And the moment I add pressure, it delivers to the ventricle. And receive from the lungs when we release it. There we go, flowing beautifully both ways. Then as the as it fills, we can deliver towards our body and receive from the atrium. So that one has lifted out of it. So lip. Receiving this side and delivering towards the body. In there, and there we go. Draining the atrium. And bring that back in the water towards the body. There you go. And then we can repeat by just adding the water back in there. So, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, comment how you would have done it differently. Um, let's share. Thank you. Bye.